Gary O'Neill, and we are live from OR to Summer Market 2014, and I am here with Megan Martin. Megan, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well. In fact, we were hanging out recently at the GoPro Mountain Games in Vail. Yes, we were. You made it into the semifinals. Yep. You're a professional climber. You crush. <laughs> I try. And then you were a Division <laughs> One pole vaulter. Yes. How did that endeavor and that sport prepare you for getting into the semifinals of a World Cup bouldering event? Um, I started climbing before I started pole vaulting, and I used to climb uh, as a kid and do professional comps as a kid, and then I stopped climbing and started pole vaulting. So How did that transition happen? I just happened to try it um, in high school. How and did you try pole vaulting? Because it, it was offered <laughs> to you on the track team or something? Or? Yes. You do like your basics, and then you just progress, and I fell in love with the sport, and so I kept doing it. But then I missed climbing, so once I graduated college, I was like, I think I want to climb again. So and here I am. <laughs> and how did that transition go back into climbing? Were you climbing at a similar level as to when when you had left it or was um, there a, 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 another learning curve getting back into it or a strength curve? There is definitely a bit of a learning curve because climbing is a lot different than it was 10 years ago. It's a lot more technical based in terms of competitions at least. There used to be just like raw power all the time and now there's like funky volumes and like super tricky moves so I had to adjust to that. And then you're competing at the World Cup level but yes. then also competing in a whole other endeavor. Uh, my father, I was talking to him <laughs> on the phone the other day, and he goes, Tim, the climbers seem to do really well at this ninja warrior thing. And, and you recently were on NBC just a couple yeah. nights ago, right? Yeah. Actually, growing up, people have, because, I mean, the show was on in Japan for a while, and then it came to the U.S., and people have said things to me before, but actually this year they sent out an email to a lot of climbers, and they were like, hey, you guys should send in videos. Like, this would be good for you. And so I did that. And it was a really fun experience. Um, I mean, Where can we see your audition video? Is it online? Is it on YouTube right now? I don't think it is on YouTube. We want it to be on YouTube, right, everybody? We do. Um, so they selected you. Yeah, so I sent in the video and they selected me. And, I mean, I was just trying to have fun with it. It was like an outlet for me away from climbing because climbing is so serious for me. So it was really nice to, like, just be playing around. And, I mean, I just was luckily... I excelled at it. Any work with knives, stars, <laughs> nunchucks? No uh, true ninja skills needed? I, I don't, yeah, no true ninja skills needed. I mean, maybe some people have them, but I definitely don't have any knife throwing, dart catching, Wait, well, we anything. Don't, we don't need you to actually have those. <laughs> so, so, Megan, as a female athlete, as somebody who uh, young girls and women are looking up to, what would be your message to them as, as an individual that's representing professionalism and excellence in the out of doors? Um, I think it's really important to do what you love and try your best and know that sometimes you fail, but that just makes it better when you succeed, so never give up. Don't ever give up. And then you're working for a lot of great brands. Yes. And that brings you here, but also the, the ability to see your friends and also to compete. And it's just great to see you, Megan Martin. It's so great to see you too, yeah. Timmy. Well, it's a pleasure talking with you. You too. And I like this a lot. Oh, thank you. Never change that. This is Timmy O'Neill <laughs> and Megan Martin signing off live from the